On July 12, 2023, Sweden and Ukraine took a step towards enhanced collaboration by recently signing two defense agreements aimed at strengthening their military cooperation. These agreements paved the way for the sharing of classified information and the improvement of defense equipment delivery. This development comes just before Sweden's formal accession to NATO. The first agreement, concerning the sharing of classified information, was signed by Ukrainian Minister of Foreign Affairs Kuleba and Swedish Minister of Defense Pal. The second agreement was concluded between the Ukrainian Minister of Defense Reznikov and the Swedish Defense Material Administration. Under the Information Sharing Agreement, Sweden and Ukraine will exchange classified information, a prerequisite for conducting test flights of Swedish Gripen fighter jets by Ukraine. This collaboration will help enhance Ukraine's capabilities in the field of military aviation. Regarding defense procurement, the two countries have agreed to allow Ukraine to acquire defense equipment through Swedish contracts, leveraging Sweden's defense industry. This arrangement ensures that Ukraine will receive orders more quickly than if it placed individual orders. Additionally, Ukraine will benefit from additional orders that Sweden can place based on its existing contracts. This will further expedite the process by facilitating the efficient allocation of surplus defense resources to Ukraine. However, the specific weapons and ammunition involved in this exchange have not yet been disclosed. Sweden has already promised or delivered a significant amount of equipment to Ukraine, including RBS-97, I-Hawk, surface-to-air missile, SAM, systems. These systems are crucial for enhancing Ukraine's ability to defend against aerial threats. Additionally, essential parts of the IRIS-T SLS system will also be delivered, further improving Ukraine's air defense capabilities. In terms of artillery, Sweden will provide eight Archer 155mm artillery systems. In the anti-tank weapon domain, Ukraine has received over 15,000 Pansarskat M86, AT-4, missiles. In terms of armored vehicles, Sweden has delivered 10 STRV-122, Leopard 2A5, tanks, which have recently been observed on the battlefield. Over 50 CV-9040 infantry fighting vehicles will also be provided thereby enhancing Ukraine's capabilities in ground operations. Regarding protective equipment and military clothing, Sweden has supplied over 5,000 Harm M90 helmets, over 5,000 Stridsvest 12 combat vests, and sets of protection and reconnaissance equipment for personnel. Additionally, Alphatech chemical protection suits, respirators, and demoning equipment have also been provided. It is worth noting that Sweden also plays an active role in training Ukrainian soldiers. Since 2018, it has participated in Operation Unifier, and sent two groups of 60 soldiers to the United Kingdom to provide assistance in training Ukrainian soldiers. These initiatives demonstrate Sweden's commitment to Ukraine, and its willingness to actively support the country's defense capacity-building efforts. Both agreements are valid until further notice and could extend beyond the conflict period, thus contributing to post-war reconstruction efforts in Ukraine. This collaboration marks an important milestone in the strategic partnership between Sweden and Ukraine.